right, guys, we're going to flip it around a little bit here. So we are going to uh, take this brand new 2024 Thundercat. They're made by Fountain Power Boats. It's got twin 500 Mercury Racing engines on it, two outboards. We're going to be taking this out on the lake today in some rough water. It's only a 34-foot cat, so a lot of people say, you know, they ride rough, you know, don't get them on the in the rough, rough water, you know, eight, nine-foot swells. We're going to see how it does today driving in that, and this might possibly be a future boat uh, that I end up getting down the road. Um, I really like the thought of them. I like just how nimble they are. It's like driving a sports car on the water, so we're going to take it out. We're on my friend Matt's brand-new 42-foot MTI uh center console right now and I, i'm just gonna show you guys this thing it is amazing it's all black blue it's got a blacked out interior but it looks pretty cool staying here at the front of the boat now it's got some cool paint visual imagination painted this they're right outside kansas city they did the whole boat though And it's got four Mercury Racing 500 engines on it. Those are brand new. They just came out last year. Obviously, 500 horsepower piece. This is a 2,000 horsepower boat. Yeah, because every boat the seats are in different spot, right? Yeah, you can put them in exact same spot. So then we can kind of that power it's done. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification to let you know whenever I post a new video. Big screens. What do you think of the boat, Georgia? It's amazing. That's pretty it's cool, amazing. isn't it? All right, so we got Matt. I've known Matt for probably 15 plus years. Matt's a big car guy, and he just got this boat. Matt, what do you think of the MTI? And it's just badass. Yeah. It <laughs> yeah. Gets you straight in the plums. Yeah. It, uh, it, it, it's perfect. And so, if I recall right, whenever I was talking to you, you said you had to go get basically special class to get insurance to drive this boat. For insurance with the 500 outboards, uh, insurance uh, in the marine world requires you to be either a ton of experience or certified by a, a certified instructor for insurance to uh, the captain room. So wow. Did uh, basically six hours online with a test and then three hours on water testing with the uh, Trace Martin performance and uh, it was awesome. That's cool. Well, this thing is awesome. We're going to show everyone a little bit of the outside of it, but I already kind of went over the inside and kind of the motors and stuff, but just an amazing boat. Thank you. You like it so far? And Matt, Matt went on a ride in a in a 44 foot MTI outboard cat today, and he's like, I think I might need one of those too. <laughs> Love it. Hell yeah! Well, sweet. Thanks for showing us around. Then we got Ed out. Ed, where are we going? Are we gonna take a ride in this thing? All right, let's go. This a this a 24, isn't it? 24 Thundercat. Oh, it's a 25. Nice. And what's the top speed on this thing? I don't know. Uh, insurance purpose is 100. And then on a busy day, busy day, it'll, what? I mean. We'll do 60 out there today, no yeah. problem. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty rough, 4th July weekend. And then on a normal day, when it's nice out, easy to go, and we'll run 25 plus. Wow. That's crazy. All right, guys. Well, we're going to uh, hop on the Thundercat here in a second, and Ed's going to take us for a ride. If you all don't remember Ed, he was the one that sold sold us the first cigarette boat last year. We seen, seen him in a video, and he helped us buy in the 42 that we got right now. So I think uh, Ed's the man. Ed's the man when it comes to fountains. Really anything. What's the, what's the boat you sell most of, Ed? All right. And how do people find you? Uh, BigThunderMarine.com, Facebook page. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, there it is. We're going to go for a ride in that thing. out here. Matt, we need to go for a ride in this sometime. Absolutely. Oh. Man, just amazing. Yeah, so this is the outside paint. I love the way 
they did the black on the bumpers that's normally all chrome and polished but it's just all blacked out which is just ah. and then the bottom of the boat most of them are white no matter what color but this one's all black top to bottom all right guys brand new 2025 thundercat built by fountain power boats these are kind of their newer boats um it does seat seven people in this thing uh, you got four bucket chairs, then you got a s seat for three in the back, and then you got the sea deck floor in the, in the very back so you can hop on the boat and stuff. It makes it a little easier so you're not slipping and falling. You got some storage compartments up there, which is pretty cool. I love the colors on this one, all silver. Got the grays and the blacks in there. Just wicked. What What's a boat like this cost? Like 660 Okay. So, you know, you buy a boat, you can finance it for... 20 years. 20 years? 20 years. Hey, 660 grand ain't bad at 20 years. Yeah, it's cheap. <laughs> what else can you go spend I mean, on 660? And I mean, that that's fun? that's like a, if you go buy a brand new uh, C8 Z06 or something, the payment would be about the same, yeah. which is crazy. You can only get one girl in bikini and that. That's true, you yeah. That. Yeah, when, when's the last time you've seen a guy on a boat without a smile? Never. You, never. Never. Unless it's broke. <laughs> Unless it's broke. <laughs> and even then, you're still having a good day. Yeah. All right, well, we're gonna hop on this thing right now, guys, and go for a ride. All right, we're sitting inside this thing. Pretty cool. Got cup holders. There's actually quite a bit of room on here to walk around, especially if you got a group of group of your friends or something. Got the big Garmin screen here. Got another little Garmin screen over there. I definitely like how you're on the left side, just like a normal car, which is pretty cool. It seems like boats are always driving over here, which is kind of weird, uh, being that you know you're always on the left on the car. What do you think? Super nice. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Fancy. Uh, going back to Sunshine. Yeah, I'll come back and drop him off that way. Thank you. All right, guys, we are leaving right outside the 13 mile marker. Just to kind of give you an idea, the owner of MTI lives right over there. That's his big dock. So, of course, they always got some cool boats over there. I'm sure Matt's one of his favorite customers right now. <laughs> Especially after a cat ride. Exactly, yep. Yeah. I'm not kidding, Ed, Matt's house, have you been in that thing? Yeah. Holy crap, that thing is nice. And then the view's unbelievable. Oh, it's nuts. Adjust the seat so you can reach the puddles. This is how easy the boats are to drive, guys. Georgia so, is going to drive this there's thing. There's a lever right down here. I'm not trying to get to that. Okay, so how's that on your feet? You got yourself locked in? Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna stay here and help you. So you're gonna steer, and I'm gonna put it on plane and trim it, and then you're gonna drive. We're just not gonna run any jet skis or boats over. Okay? Got it. <laughs> so we're gonna it's gonna come on plane about 18 miles an hour. So here we go. I'm on that up trim right now. So we're already doing 20, 30 miles an hour. It's pretty flat. They kind of set it up for rough water, so you... it's actually not bad at all. Ed. It's, it's not bad, but you just can't. I mean, this is about as rough as water as you're gonna get. This is Fourth of July weekend, roughest yeah. water we got. Georgia has zero cat experience. Yeah, today. <laughs> yeah literally. Hey, look at look at the smile on that face. Yeah. We just talked about that. Look at that. Pretty badass. You can yeah. stick anyone in the driver's seat. The trim is really not hard. All I did was once I put her on plane. I trimmed it up to 37 uh, percent and we're just running with that so we don't really need to adjust it when we're going this slow if we were going faster yeah we would be adjusting the trim up and down more we would be throttling more we'd be in and out of the throttles that kind of thing right but for just a little uh, cruise with your honey i mean we can drive down the lake you know that guy is not pounds he's got his hair on fire you know he's <laughs> <laughs> That'd be me, yeah, and yeah. I'd be like, oh, well, man. You're next. Yeah. yeah. Show you what's going on next, but we wanted to see how easy it is to drive and how much fun it is for any for everybody. Right. And this and this is a 120-plus mile an hour boat Yeah. This that, boat that literally, like you said, anyone can drive. Yeah. And, it, and at 40 miles an hour, it's super tame. Yeah. You can just go blast the stereo on this thing, just cruise down the lake wherever you wanted to go. It's kind of like a lot like the cars you build. Yeah. You know, you can drive them on the street. Right. They've got a good attitude. Right. But when you want to party, they're ready to go. Yeah. And this is this is the same way. We got a thousand horsepower, so. Yep. What do you think? I'm 
trees. There's big wakes over here. behind the wheel now. Ed's driven a few boats in his day. First day on the job. <laughs> yeah. First time driver, guys. Watch out. <laughs> and it just gets up to speed. Just amazing. And it's so smooth. Car guys like to deal with other car guys, so Ed, your guy. Ed, Ed what'd you drive to work today? Uh, Demon 170. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Good salesman. It is a rough one out there. 
Yeah, she's rough as a cop, that's for sure. Yeah. We got some good air. Our best drive today was probably Georgia. Yeah, that was the smoothest one. Yeah. 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 Good job, Georgia. Guys seemed to get a little aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> Georgia, Georgia gave us our best ride. I today. know. Damn. Pulling back into Matt's area. We're, we're going to come back and uh, go for a ride in Matt's boat probably tomorrow or Sunday, guys. So we're not going to leave you hanging with just the walk around on that thing. That boat on Sunday morning will probably be pretty fun to take out oh, yeah. that yeah, I Matt's boat. Close to ninety. It's... He said he went eighty nine. Yeah, I seen it on his. Good. I seen it on his max speed. Yeah. For a big old boat like that, that you can have twenty people on. It's a nice area back here. 